the wall, just kisses it. He, he, he had been right there, flirting with it. Inside, inside. For the last 10 laps. That's what happens to these cars as they get late in a run. You know, the handle starts to really go away. The tires are pretty hot and probably pretty worn. You've got to really watch yourself. I tell you what, they'll have a tough time getting by that 14 car now with five laps to go. Watch them coming off turn number four, particularly Hornish and the 12. Whoops. Whoa. <laughs> sideways Sam. <Yeah. laughs> Sam got sideways, and then Keselowski and the 12 got sideways in the same place. I think like you said, that 14 and that 2, if they could hop, pop, possibly get hooked up here, and here comes Matt Kenseth's. Help is on the way, Smoke, if you just uh, hang on to her. And all Casey Kane and that nine can do is just try to keep working back and forth between him. I think the low place is where he needs to be as long as they don't get the run on the high side. Looking back from the leader, Casey Kane. Here comes this, Here comes 14 on the outside. And Got he's going to get a shot from Montoya. Watch him through three and four on the high that, side here. That's all it took right there, just that extra little boost. That two Chevys hooked up. Here we come. Slingshotted. Tony Stewart right alongside Casey Kane. Looks like the uh, looks like the first race. The man on the inside won the first one. Let's see what happens here. All right, who's going to make the Daytona 500? I believe Stewart. Now Kane's fighting back. It's Kane, Kane I believe. Got him. Kane, Casey Kane. By about another inch. Good job, guys. First Daytona win of any kind for Casey Kane.